Hi, this is Patrick Kern of the American Epic Atmospheric Black Metal Band Untamed Land, and you are listening to The Bloodshed with the Vampire on Metal Messiah Radio International. And I would like to congratulate Metal Messiah Radio with its 13th anniversary. Patrick, thank you very much for taking time out for this interview. And I'd like to welcome you to the Metal Bloodshed with the Vampire on Metal Messiah Radio International. Awesome. Good to be here. Very great. Uh, Patrick, at a very young age, you already handled different instruments and vocals. And besides on Templant, you also form part of Hyrus. Please present yourself and how are the metal scene in Arcon, Ohio? Oh, the actual metal scene in Ohio is mostly kind of more of the American style, like sort of like, it's like Pantera or like more like alternative metal, it seems like most of the bands. Because I actually play with a live band called Emerald Rage. We just had an album out this year and we're like a traditional heavy metal band and we kind of stick out because a lot of people are doing a lot more kind of heavier stuff but there was a whole lot of shows last year due to all the covid stuff but it's starting to get picked up again nowadays and tell us a little bit about the hyrus this band that you're also part of or you just formed this yeah it was pretty much that's cool that uh, you actually know about it it was kind of an idea i had like two years ago i just thought it would be fun to do a more kind of riff centric like extreme metal sort of type project just like a short ep for it so i just came up with it just because for untamed land it seemed like i can't really do the real crazy like riffs just like riff mania type stuff so that's kind of what i wanted to do with that so i just made it and uploaded it on the band camp and there it is i see that you have a tree song ep that you released last july 2020 independently yeah that's only released so far and there, maybe there'll be more releases uh we'll have to see <laughs> it's just hard to find time these days okay. yeah i still need to check it out under the name tradium huh? yeah that's it yeah yeah <laughs> and i was gonna ask you if you're still part of emerald reach but you just answered me that you're still with them yeah i that's i just practiced with them this morning so yep we're still going we have a show like coming up on friday i think and uh you guys planning to have a new release we just released uh our four, first full length album i think it was like two months ago ish somewhere around there yeah we have a lot more material just like in the bank that we still need to get to we should be wrapping up the production for i think it's a four song ep hopefully we can get that done within the next like couple weeks and we can release it but after that will be another full length album that we have sort of in store <laughs> okay i need to check the album you just talked about that that you guys have released two months ago okay to continue with this interview on temp length explored yet uncharted territories invoke the song of atmosphere of a classic spaghetti western soundtrack with a crushing black metal foundation based in Arcon, ohio Peter kern the exceptional mind behind on land merge the seemingly infinity sonic environment of the old wild wild west with crushing rhythm and uh, the sweeping force of cinematic sources as la enio morricone when exactly was the band formed i'm talking about on land and what about uh, this old wild wild west type of black metal and uh, yes your passion about this cinematic guy enio morricone yeah the i guess well the first release for it was came out on 2018 so and since it's just me i'm not really sure when i could say when the band formed because i've been writing songs for for quite some time and i probably wrote the first like untamed land song that got released probably like 2016 and i was just really into i was really into bands like summoning at the time and the sort of like epic black metal kind of vibe and sort of like general like epic folk metal but it didn't really make a whole lot of sense for me to write lyrics about vikings or something because I'm in Ohio and I'm not Scandinavian. So I was like, well, what can I do? And I've always been really into the music of Ennio Morricone and just the whole aesthetic of like the old school Western movies. So it just seemed like it kind of would fit if I combined the two. And the music's actually sort of harmonically, it's it kind of makes sense to combine the two in ways that maybe are not obvious, but kind of work. So that was the main idea. I love the parts because I've listened to the whole album, the 2018 one, and uh, some of the riffs, and I feel that white, white, west vibe in, and I really like that. 
Yeah, it's awesome. Since I've only been like to the West once when I was real little. So like I, I don't even like <laughs> really remember it all that well. But that was definitely the idea of sort of the landscape I was trying to evoke. Just like a big open kind of sparse land. Okay, combining epic black metal with the sweeping force Western film music on them the debut album. Between the Winds, released February 2018, transported listener to a unique song, sonic landscape where archetypal forces roam and the myths are reborn. With very beautiful songs, I must say, the darkness awakened, right of prophecy, glowing shadows and a song down. My question is, how did you manage this deal with the Morning Light Records to remaster edition and release September 2018. Yeah, so the first version of it, I just uploaded onto Bandcamp after it was finished up. And I think Morning Light emailed me I think like a day or two after it came out because they were, I guess, looking for bands. And so I was like, yeah, it would be cool to actually have a physical release for it. I mean, I, when I uploaded, I didn't know, you know, if it was going to get any attention or, or what was going to happen with it. But so... It was cool to work with the actual label to get an actual CD release for it. So we just went through it and I decided to another mastering engineer reached out to me of his own accord too during that time. And so I sent him one of the tracks and he sent it back just as like a test. And I sort of liked how it sounded. So I thought it would be cool to have almost two different kind of versions of the same album. And like probably the first version is a little bit more darker and more kind of black metal ish. And the second version is a bit more kind of on the epic side. And it seems like neither one has sort of taken over as like the definitive version. So it's kind of cool that people kind of choose which vibe they're more into for the for this one album you even have different cover offers yeah the first one was just something me and a buddy like slapped together pretty much because <laughs> <laughs> i was like i just need to get this album out right now i can't like, i can't be like looking for an artist so it, that was another cool aspect of like another release for it was that i could actually like take time to find an artist and come up with a cool concept that i think really fits the album just a sort of like landscape with like a mysterious temple sort of thing okay tell me patrick who did the collaboration with you on the track number six glowing shadows doing the soprano vocals that was actually a uh, sample library from i think it's called grindhouse which is a cool uh a sample library that has a bunch of like old school b-movie noises <laughs> that they have <laughs> one of them was like the spaghetti western female operatic vocals <laughs> i was like well that's exactly what i need for this so i use that yeah i was kind of looking not searching but who's doing the the, the oh, soprano vocals on this track, the glowing shadows. <laughs> I couldn't find it. I know. Yeah. No, understand why. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool that you couldn't tell that it was a fake sample library. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Ohio-based USA-based project on Tempt Land will release its sophomore album, like Creature Seeking Their Own Forms, through Maple Records on October 8, 2021. Patrick, whoa! After having working with Morning Lights Record, you went over on a much higher level skill and uh, now uh, signing with Napalm Record for the release of this great upcoming new album like Creature Seeking Their Own Forms. How this one nailed with uh, this ocean label Napalm Record and how are the promotion for this new album going so far? I was kind of the same deal with Morning Light. They uh, just kind of emailed me out of the blue one day and uh, I didn't see it for a while but then I responded and we started working on the deal. Yeah, the promotion, it's been interesting since I've, it's just been like a big label, but mostly it's just kind of the same process of just emailing back and forth. We kind of came up with uh, the first video that got released a few weeks back, just all the social media stuff that we're starting to get running. I guess we'll see how it goes. Talking about this video, I mean, on Land, also has an inspired epic black metal project. Yeah, to release this new album, like we said, creatures seeking their own forms this fall. And because this very special occasion, you guys have released this video premiere last October 12th I must say for the track Clotted in Smoke I must congratulate you for this one what a great way I must say uh, Patrick to start the promotion of this upcoming uh, brand new album and with this single Clotted in the Smoke you had a nearly 10 minute epic source before peaking with the player piano interlaced closing passages backed with fiddled warning drums and electrifying guitar 
adding a layered folk-like element to the already diverse offering. I mean, my question is, how come this track at number three, Clothed in Smoke, as a promotional single, and what are the reactions from critics and fans have been so far, you know, to this first sign of your new album? I suppose it was chosen as the first single since it's like the shortest of uh, like the actual songs on the album, the actual like metal songs, because I think there's only two other ones and both of them are like 10 to 15 minutes long. So we decided that this would probably be if we're going to pick one lead single, it's going to be this one. And uh, I think it works because it kind of begins in a kind of hooky sort of way with the clean guitar riff that kind of builds up in intensity with everything else. Reaction seems pretty positive. I, I mean, I haven't really looked at YouTube comments or anything, but seems like it works pretty well for what it's trying to do. Yep. I, uh, you know, listen to it. I must say myself, I really, really, this song really attracted me when I discovered it on YouTube. And that's when I started to digging, you know, looking for more of your stuff. And I, you know, got to listen to the whole 2018 album, which I like as well, I must say. But this first single is very, very awesome. And I believe that's it's a great way to start, to have started the promotion motion for the new album that's awesome yeah <laughs> patrick by the way do you believe that there's any possibility any chance that we will be able to get another promotional single and video before the album will be released this october there should be two more coming i think we just started working on the second one with our video editor so that should be down the pipeline it's going to be because there's only two other real metal songs and so they're going to be like shortened versions of it they won't be getting like the whole album basically before it comes out but yeah there should be two more videos okay that's very great news to hear and <laughs> can't wait do you believe that in this coming weeks we will be getting the second single already released it should be coming by the end of the month i'm not exactly sure <laughs> what the date was but yeah by the end of the month will be the second one okay this album yeah like creatures are seeking their own forms includes violin performances by rita torrens and the vocalist contribution by caroline joy and jacob worley tell us about this collaboration done with rita caroline and jacob if you don't mind please yeah rita was a violinist who i contacted online she does she just does uh, like session work for whoever needs it and so i think it's this track and i think it's just like the last metal track on it she has some she has some cool violin parts on there and it just added so much more life to the track because at first i programmed it with like a violin sample and it, for this kind of context it just wasn't quite working and i think once you hear like the violin come in it just it just adds so much more kind of human life to it and for jake he's actually the lead singer of emerald rage i just needed i needed some extra vocal beef to a certain choir sort of section on the track heavenly coil so i kind of recorded some like probably like eight different tracks of him just because i wanted to layer in a bunch of stuff so that's how that went down did you talk about caroline yeah caroline is the soprano singer who i think is on all three of the metal tracks in some regard but yeah she was another person who i just found online and who does session work i was honestly worried that like the stuff i wrote would have been like too high or like too weird for her but <laughs> she just nailed it completely so that that was Great to see the kind of like operatic singing going on. Oh, I can't wait to hear that, man. Patrick, yeah, in some words, please describe us this album and what can the fans expect? I would say compared to the last Between the Winds album, uh, this is a bit more darker. It sort of has like a kind of more nature almost like woodsy vibe to it a little bit other compared to like the, the vast like desert on the last one this one i was sort of going down a more like black metal rabbit hole while i was recording this and writing it so there's some more influence of like more like sort of traditional atmospheric black metal bands you would think of thank you for the description patrick like creatures seeking their own forms will be available in uh, the following format so far i can see and cd jewel cases and a digital album will uh, there at some point of time that the album will be made available by the label on vinyl as well as of now there's no real plans for that but i'm not really sure how it would work if we wanted to do that i mean it could possibly happen sometime in the future but i'm not really sure what the circumstances would have to be for that okay so by now no answer Okay, um, what an outstanding CD cover artwork done by Lucas Ruggeri. Tell us more about it, please. 
Yeah, he was actually another person who just reached out to me after Between the Winds came out, and he said he just really liked that album and, and would like to contribute something at some point or another. And so while I was writing the album, after I finished writing it, I sort of stepped back, and it was kind of seemed like it would be something that his style would fit with, just a more kind of darker, kind of sketchy look, more like detailed. So I just reached out to him and sent him the lyrics, sent him like the rough demos of it and just said, hey, whatever you come up with. I gave him some kind of art as kind of inspiration. And I think he came up with a really great image that encapsulates really like the whole album and vibe in the story of it. Yes, I mean, the album artwork is, you know, it's very explosive. The minute you see it, it make an impact on you. Yeah, <laughs> just like the way he laid it out, yeah. with, uh, landscape it. It's really striking and kind of sucks yeah. you into the whole world. World, really so that's the right word yes yeah, striking it yeah okay follow the underground success of the 2018 debut uh, between the winds ohio u.s based project on tempt length the worst very first metal band incorporating the feral songs of the classic old western cinematics on bridles their sophomore album like creatures seeking their own forms through napalm records in yeah october this coming october 2021 while exploring influences and notices from uh, various uh, strains of atmospheric metal on team land traverses wild new frontiers evoking the ambience of classic Ennio Morricone, spaghetti western soundtrack and uh, traditional old western instrumentals while uh, some listeners may be quick to label this a purely black metal album before uh, diving into its desert depths this uh, description only scratches the four face patrick yeah seeing the pandemic will be over and forgotten what are your plans in support of this outstanding masterpiece for actually the end of 2021 and 2022 just hope to promote it through social media and do more interviews like this and see how it goes i don't know how much i could really do since this is kind of a studio project so <laughs> and if i wanted to like do anything live i'd have to like find like nine other people probably to play all this it should be fun to see the response it gets because it's such a wide variety of sounds throughout the whole album who knows <laughs> what people will uh, make of it on their first listen so it could be fun okay patrick but concluding this interview uh, seeking is so difficult that this will be a life you know people can see this band live but how about merch i mean uh, for those that like to you know to buy some merch are there gonna be merchandises available there should be i don't think we have concrete plans moving forward but there should definitely be some merch coming down the pipeline for this patrick to end this great interview the microphone of madame Ohio radio international is all yours to thank whomever you want to thanks well thanks to the metal messiah radio and thanks to all the contributors to this project thanks to napalm records for uh taking it on and releasing it hope it all goes well in the future okay patrick once again i want to thank you very very much for accepting this interview and it's been a great pleasure talking to you and i wish you all the best with this upcoming new album like uh, creatures seeking their own form and i wish you all the best for you for your plans future plans and yes without anything else to say like always say metal on bye bye all right thank you very much